Today, our Bulldogs take on the Tennessee Volunteers in an SEC showdown. And last week, the Tennessee Volunteers got destroyed by the Miami Hurricanes. And we are on a two-game win streak after losing four straight. See if we can get a third here. And the kickoff is over to Jarius Norwood at the five-yard line. He's going to return this over the middle. And Jukeman out to the left side, still going past the 30 and past the 40, down to the 43-yard line. Another nice return, and Blake Jones has injured his knee on the play. He will miss the rest of this game with a PCL sprain. As Todd Joseph options left side, cuts it back up the middle. Nice move. Picks up nine yards on the play. Triple option on the right side, and Joseph is stuffed. He goes nowhere. The Bulldogs about to punt it away. Second and eight now for Leak. And his volunteers, he goes left side to Fagan. Nice catch down to the 33-yard line for a first down. We beat Tennessee last year 27 to 23 in our stadium when they were ranked number 10 in the nation. Ken Tops was sacked five times in that game and we came through with a victory in the fourth quarter. Kelly Washington having a decent season, 702 yards receiving as Lee goes right side to Stevens down to the 24 yard line. Nice pickup and a first down. That's three consecutive completions for Leak. First and 10, he's gonna throw a left side this time and double coverage. Washington comes down with it again, this time inside the 10-yard line. First down, they'll hand it off to Cedric Houston up the middle, and he'll pick up about six yards. T.J. Mawinney on the tackle. Second and goal. Leak's going to carry it right up the middle, walking into the end zone. Nice stiff arm at the end of the run for good measure. And the Volunteers are on top, 7-0 early in the game. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Joseph, pump fake. Still looking, throws it over to Grindle in the middle of the field. Nice play tight window for Todd Joseph to hit fit that ball into he's gonna throw it once again here throws a deep right side I believe that is Norwood and it is and he's got it down to the 34 yard line nice catch for Jarius Norwood another good throw from Joseph and he's gonna option out left side this time pitches it out to Norwood still going spins can't make the man miss but still a decent run there second and two Bryson Davis gets the handoff up the middle for a two and a half yard gain and a first down pickup First and 10 now, Joseph's gonna throw again here. He's got a man wide open, that's Jenkins, and he's got it. Got both feet in bounds, I believe. Touchdown, Bulldogs, they tie the game up. Third and six for the Volunteers. Leak looking to throw, goes left side, almost intercepted. Dangerous throw, and they have to punt it away again. Joseph will take over now, he pitches it out right side to Fred Reed, who breaks the tackle and then goes down finally at the 23 yard line. Nice run for Fred Reed, the third string halfback. And Redshirt Jr. First and 10 now. Joseph dropping back. Wants to set up a screen here. Hits Norwood. He's got blockers. He needed maybe one more block to break that. Nine yard reception for Jarius Norwood. Four completions in a row for Todd Joseph. Bryson Davis gets the carry up the middle once again for another first down. This time a one yard carry. Second and 10. Triple option. Joseph's going to keep it himself right side. Pitches at the last second. And Norwood picks up about seven or eight more yards after the catch. Norwood has 1,191 yards in his career so far. Looking to get 1,000 yards this season. Bryson Davis, the ball bounces off his face, and he picks it up anyways. Gets it down to the 31-yard line. Bulldogs up to 61 yards rushing. Joseph pump faking once again, rolling out right side. Scrambles back left, finally goes down. Huge loss. Robertson on the sack, second and 22. And Joseph's going to run left side on an option. Keep it himself. Gets up past the 30, down to the 29-yard line making up for that huge loss on the previous play. Third and eight, Joseph looking to throw. Pump fakes, and he's gonna get sacked once again. This time he loses about 10 yards. See on the bottom, Washington beats Cal 54 to 10. They are dangerous this season. And Joseph, going right side, hits Bivens, and they say his foot was out of bounds. Take a look for yourself, folks. Let me know down in the comments section below if you think he caught this or not. That is a very close play. But the Volunteers take over on downs nonetheless. Leak looking to throw it here on first down. He goes over the middle to Troy Fleming, the fullback. Picks up nice gain, six yards, second and three. Leak play action, throws middle wide open as Brown down to the 43-yard line. And C.J. Leak has hurt his elbow on the play. He'll be done for the game. Nate Sandoval, the backup quarterback, blue chip prospect, is out for the season. Ernie Turner... Another blue chip quarterback for the Tennessee Volunteers is in the game. And he's going to throw a deep right side first play and overshoots his man by a couple yards. You see that strong arm already. Second and 10. 
You can see CJ Leak sprained his elbow. He's done for the day. And Turner's going to throw left side. Nice power on that throw once again. Nice bullet pass, but Gabe Wallace was having none of it. Third and ten upcoming. And they're going to throw once again with a freshman. Rolling out right side. He gets hit as he throws it. Almost intercepted. He starts off the game 0 for 3. And they punt it away. Second and ten now for the Bulldogs. Todd Joseph's going to scramble left side. Keep it himself. And gets about nine yards. That might have been a late hit there. 62 rushing yards for the Bulldogs. And Bryson Davis gets a carry up the middle. And he juked for some reason. Could have picked up a lot more, but got the first down. Second and 10. He gets another carry. This time open field in front of him. Look at that speed. Nice carry all the way down to the 48-yard line. He's got 29 yards on four carries. Uh, Joseph triple option left side. Bryson Davis once again in the open field. All the way down to the 34-yard line. This ground game is very dangerous since we've switched the offense up to the triple option. And Joseph pitches out to Norwood, who picks up another six or seven yards. Close to 1,200 yards in his career. Third and four. They set up the screen left side, and Grindle goes nowhere. Loses two yards, and it'll be fourth down. Fourth and seven here. Mike Randall, the freshman kicker, comes on for a long field goal attempt. The kick is up. And it is good, just over the crossbars. Nice 10 play, 54 yard drive. Capped off by the freshman kicker making that long field goal. Ernie Turner throwing right side. Slovakia Griffith should have had an interception there. And Michael Gillard finally chases him down at the 25 yard line. Third and 10, Ernie Turner is gonna throw right side. This time almost intercepted once again here. Another dangerous pass by this true freshman. Fourth and 10, they're gonna go for it. And they get it, Jason Witten down to the 11-yard line. I guess they have no faith in their kicker. First and nine, Cedric Houston up the middle, picks up seven yards. Third and three, Turner's gonna look to throw it here. And he's gonna throw left side, he's got a man open. That is Davis for a touchdown. Griffith couldn't get over there in time. And the Volunteers are back on top, 14 to 10. That'll end the first half. Very close first half in terms of yardage and points as Mike Randall kicks the kickoff. Deep into the end zone, about three yards deep, and Baker will just kneel on it. Third and three for the Volunteers. Turner under center. Houston in the backfield. Turner's going to look to throw here once again, and he gets sacked. Broke the initial sack. Finally taken down by Neil Nelson, the standout freshman left outside linebacker for the Bulldogs. He's having himself a heck of a season. Corey Brown missed the initial sack. Nice job by Ernie Turner avoiding that first one. Second and ten for the Bulldogs as they take over. Bryson Davis just runs through him, man. Still going past the 40, the 35-30, 25-20, all the way down to the 15-yard line. Bryson Davis is a man on a mission. 422 yards on 49 carries this season. That is just unreal. Todd Joseph looking to throw, scrambling left side, running for his life, finally gets sacked. That is the fourth sack of the game for the Volunteers. Triple option. Darnell Jones right up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Picks up about five yards. The Bulldogs have 156 rushing yards. Third and five for Joseph. Scrambling right side. And he's going to look to throw. Goes back across his body to Grindle. And that's another touchdown for the Bulldogs. What a play by Todd Joseph. Running to his right. Throwing back across his body. Unbelievable play. And Ernie Turner takes back over, and Stevens makes a nice diving grab down to the 45-yard line. Third and inches, Houston gets the carry and two-yard pickup and a first down. He's only got 21 yards on the day, though. And Turner's going to look to throw again. Wide open is Houston over the middle for another first down for Tennessee down to the 25-yard line. First and 10, they're going to pitch left side, and he is stuffed for a loss of five or six yards. Gabe Wallace on the play. And Turner's going to throw deep left side. He wanted to get in the end zone there. Overshot his man by a few yards. Fourth and 12. They will go for it once again. Right side to Kelly Washington, who hurdles a man. Still going all the way out of bounds at the 11-yard line. What an effort by Kelly Washington. Unbelievable play. Turner going right side. Intercepted by Slovakia Griffith. He fumbles it. And Tommy Kelly dives on it. What a crazy event right there. 17-14 to 14 is the score. The Bulldogs on top. And they come out in a big formation. Norwood gets the carry left side. Spins a man out of his shoes. And he is gone. Nobody is going to catch Jarius Norwood in the open field. 
He did that play all on his own. Made one man miss and he was gone. Longest play of the season. Longest play of our series. 89 yards. Second and 10 for the Volunteers as they take over and Turner gets sacked once again. Neil Nelson, number two for the game. Unbelievable talent. True freshman. Third and 16. Turner under center. He's looking to throw. Goes deep left side. Got a man open. That's Fagan down to the 38-yard line. Just gets past the corner. I believe that was Donnie Kramer on the coverage. First and 10 now. They do a draw play to Houston. And he picks up about 7 or 8 yards. Nice run for Cedric Houston. 23 yards on 8 carries. That's not going to get you anywhere. Second and 2. Jason Witten in motion left side. Houston gets a carry up the middle. First down. Another 7-yard pickup. And Gabe Wallace has injured his chest on the play. TJ Mawinney looking to get some play time now. Gabe Wallace is out, and that pass is deflected away. Fourth and seven. The Volunteers will go for it once again. Turner looking to throw, and he goes left side to Fagan, but he is stopped just inches shy of the first down. Bulldogs take over. Now in the fourth quarter, third and eight. Joseph's looking to set up the screen. He's going to roll out left side. Nobody's getting open. And he sacked and fumbled it. It looked like his arm went forward. We'll take another look at this replay here. Another one for you guys to let me know what you think about it. That arm is going forward when that ball comes out. But well, the Volunteers get the turnover. And Houston will get a carry right side. Breaks the tackle. Gets the first down. Volunteers are driving. Looking to get back into this game. Second and ten. Turner looking to throw. Drops back. Goes left side, wide open is Stevens. Slovakia Griffith could not get over there in time. And we got ourselves a ball game, 24 to 21 is the score at the moment. Nice throw by the freshman quarterback, Ernie Turner. Nice corner route by Stevens. Set first and 10 now for the Bulldogs. Joseph wants to set up the screen again, and he goes down once again. First sack of the game for Peace, second and 20. And Joseph's looking to scramble, and he gets sacked again. That is the fifth sack of the game for the Volunteers. Third and 23. Joseph pitches out to Bryson Davis. Spins a man out. Taken down at the 27-yard line. Bryson Davis and Jarius Norwood are both up over 100 yards for the game. We do punt it away. Third and eight for the Volunteers here. Critical play. And Turner's going to throw deep left side. And he overshoots his man by about seven or eight yards. Very strong arm. Not very accurate. Bulldogs take back over. Darnell Jones gets a carry. Breaks a tackle. Gets up to the 41-yard line. Trying to ice this game. Second and three. Ray Ray Bivens, everybody. He's in at quarterback. Triple option right side. Pitches out to Norwood. Spins a man out. Gets down to the 47-yard line. Volunteers call a timeout. Nice play for Ray Ray Bivens. Third and 13. Bryson Davis gets a carry up the middle. Stop. Two yards shy of the first down. It'll be fourth and two here. And look who it is. Ray Ray Bivens back in at quarterback. Fourth and two. One minute to go. They need this first down to ice this game. Ray Ray Bivens up the middle. He gets the first down. And the Bulldogs will walk out of here with a victory in Knoxville, Tennessee. One of the toughest stadiums to come into and get a win. 24 to 21 is your final. We can't pass the ball to Ray Ray Bivens. We might as well get him in there to run the ball some. Did a heck of a job the two plays he was in there. Passing game really hasn't been anything since Ken Topps went down in the game against LSU. But if we have to run the ball 50 times a game, we will just to win. 281 rushing yards. Only threw the ball 11 times. Sacked 6 times. So we've played Tennessee twice. They've sacked us 11 total times. But we came away victorious both times. Todd Joseph... Didn't really do a whole lot today. 134 yards for Norwood. 118 for Davis. Norwood with the only rushing touchdown of the game. Terrell Grindle, three catches. Jarius Norwood, two. Justin Jenkins had one. Rusty Holloway had a pancake, and he did not allow a sack. Tucker allowed three. Gabe Wallace had seven tackles. Neil Nelson with five tackles and two sacks. Slovakia Griffith, an interception. One fumble recovery by Tommy Kelly. Mike Randall one for one along of 49 yards. And that was the decisive kick. That was the game winner. 
Take a look at the box score here. We outscored them in the second half, 14 to seven. Next week, we travel to Fayetteville, Arkansas to take on the Razorbacks. And they are seven and two, ranked number 13 in the nation. And see if we can't win four in a row, folks. I'll see you all at the next game. Take it easy.